Israeli officials warn, no choice, but to ready attack plans after Razi win. Foreign Minister Lapid urges renewed determination to halt Iran's nuke program, while ministry spokesman says judiciary chief will be most extremist president to date. Security officials believe Iranian president-elect Ebrahim Raisi will adopt Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini's hardline views on foreign and nuclear policy, and assess that Israel must once again ready plans to potentially attack the Islamic Republic's nuclear facilities, Israeli television reported Saturday. Channel 12 said Raisi backs a return to the 2015 deal limiting Iran's nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief, and the assessment in Israel is that an agreement with the US to restore the accord won't be signed until August, when he takes office. In the meantime, however, Iran is expected to build up its stockpile of enriched uranium. There will be no choice but to go back and prepare attack plans for Iran's nuclear program. This will require budgets and the reallocation of resources, an unnamed senior Israeli source was quoted as saying. Israel's foreign minister Yair Lapid tweeted Saturday evening, Iran's new president, known as the Butcher of Tehran, is an extremist responsible for the deaths of thousands of Iranians. He is committed to the regime's nuclear ambitions and to its campaign of global terror. Lapid argued that his election should prompt renewed determination to immediately halt Iran's nuclear program and put an end to its destructive regional ambitions. IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kahavi, meanwhile, was set to lead a senior delegation of top Israeli military officers to Washington early Sunday to meet with American officials about Iran's nuclear program and its expansionist efforts in the region, the Israel Defense Forces said. In recent months, Iranian and European negotiation teams have been meeting in Vienna to discuss a return to the nuclear deal by the US and Iran, a move staunchly opposed by top Israeli officials.